So how many of you have meditated before? Good. And how many of you have meditated with breath? The majority. So breath is a great tool to meditate. It's a great tool because you take it everywhere, right? And so that means you have no excuse not to meditate. So if you come to the hospital and you're going to translate for a patient, you can't say, oh, I left my breath at home. I can't meditate before I do my <laughs> translation, right? So you can always also do a one-minute meditation, right? Remember what my friend Jim Duffy says, you know, before you meet the patient, breathe in and out, and ground. And the more you practice by yourself, the more you are more familiar with these practices, not just with the technique, but with the inner experience, the better you can bring them in the times when you need them the most. If you're going to wait until that stressful moment to practice, it's going to be more difficult. But if you're able to train yourself to practice more often, the moment when you need it, it's easier for that tool to be on the tips of your fingers. In the same way as when you practice your new languages that you're learning. The more you practice them, the easier it'll be that in that moment, the right word will come. And not that it's just it's at the tip of your tongue, but it can't come out. Sometimes with meditation, it's the same. If I don't practice enough, that technique is right there, but I'm not sure how to do it. Right? It's the same. So there's one word, actually. Um, maybe I'm going to bring a little bit of Tibetan here, since we are in different languages. So the word for meditation in Tibetan is kom, which relate, actually is gom, which relates to the word kom, which means familiarity. And this familiarity is familiarizing ourselves with our technique, but also with that inner state of mind. So that as we familiarize ourselves with that inner state of mind that is relaxed, but also aware, that then we are able to use it in the rest of the day. So partly is, even if we practice a 10-minute practice every day, what happens in the other 23 hours and 50 minutes? How can we bring that, that we are familiar with, into the rest of the day? So let's start with a short meditation. Um, and feel free to uh, sit as comfortable as you want with shoes, no shoes, whatever is comfortable. Yeah. Give me a little tip, I should say. It's okay here, I guess. Since we are, we are in a meditation class. And so, what we'll do is, we'll have either our feet on the ground or cross-legged, whatever is comfortable. And what I ask you to do is, to pay attention to your breath. And to let every breath be an invitation to be in the present moment. Breathe in through your nose, not just into your lungs, but allow that breath to go lower into your abdomen. And let it come out through the nose. If you need to let it come out through the mouth, that's okay. As you breathe in, feel your breath coming into your body. Maybe you want to place your hand in the lower abdomen. Notice that as you breathe in, the abdomen expands. As you breathe out, it contracts. Breathe in, expands. Breathe out, contracts. That as we keep on breathing, we can breathe lower, feel more grounded here and there. Every breath being an invitation to be in the present moment. And if our mind gets distracted, 
We don't judge it. We don't criticize ourselves for being distracted. We just gently bring it back to the breath. When you're ready, allow the arms to come down, back to your knees. Relaxing the shoulders, your back is straight. And if it's comfortable, bring your hands together, one on top of the other, resting on your lap, palms up, elbows out. So you open your chest and you can breathe lower. Open your heart, you can connect deeper. You relax your shoulders, but the back is straight. Relax your jaw, relax your tongue, but place it on the upper palate or behind your teeth. Relax the eyes. You can close them, but not too tight. You can look. By opening your eyes, you can look to the tip of your nose and into the ground, the crystal gaze. Relax every tension in your face, tension in your body as your back is straight and you breathe. If you notice any tension in your body, let it go. Back to your breath. Mind is going to that thought, back to the breath. Don't follow thoughts, emotions, just come back. Simple instruction, come back to your breath. Breathe lower into your abdomen, back to your nose. Feel the support of your body to be here and now. Feel the support of your breath to be grounded, focused. Mind guiding your breath into your body. If you need more focus, you can visualize your breath as green light. Feeling that breath, that green light coming all the way down to your abdomen, back to your nose. That breath is green light nurturing every cell of your body, nurturing you emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. And that as you breathe out, you let go what you don't need. That stress, that tension, that thought, just let go. And instead, Breathe in that nurturing quality, that supportive green light. Do it a few more times at your own risk. The mind gets distracted, it goes back to the breath of the mind.
allow the silence around you to be a great doorway to your inner peace. Even if there's sounds, there's much more silence. Instead of allowing your mind to follow sounds, allow your mind to enjoy silence. Let the silence be the doorway to your inner peace. To your inner awareness. <clears throat> awareness of that light, your breath, it can be like the sun being fully present in that sky without trying to illuminate, just illuminating by being present. Settling in that space, connecting with light, with presence. Disengaging from past and from future, letting go of tensions, and being here present. That inner space is your inner home that is always there for you. Every breath, an opportunity to nurture it. That warmth, it's those qualities that are there for you. Your loving kindness, your compassion, your inner joy. That naturally arises from that space and you're able to be there, spacious and aware, in that sky with awareness, light. Feel that warmth for yourself. Connecting let it nurture. Let that warmth of loving kindness, compassion, joy, peace of mind nurture you and your heart is open you by giving it to others as well. You're sharing that loving kindness and compassion and joy and peace of mind with your colleagues your clients, with your patients, with your doctors, with your family and friends as you come back home. And if you're able to be connected as you do that, as you're giving, you're receiving, and as you're nurturing, you feel nurtured. As you don't lose the space, as you don't lose the awareness, don't lose the warmth. Be more familiar with your inner home. And be there as much as you want. So maintaining that sense of connectedness, of open awareness and warmth, of giving and receiving. You're giving in a way that you don't deplete yourself. As you give, you're receiving with every breath. Maintaining that sense of connection without needing to open your eyes yet. Slowly allow your body to relax. You want to relax your legs, or your torso, or your hips. But don't focus on the body, still focus on your breath as you relax your shoulders and your neck and your head. And slowly you allow your eyes to open, maybe open and close a few times as you integrate with the external world without losing touch of your hands. So you do that slowly. 